Hey there planners, today we are in the final video of our how to make your own digital planner series and we're actually going to be adding hyperlinks and exporting this thing to GoodNotes and starting to use our planner. So go grab your planners and let's get planning. All right, so we have done a lot of things in this series so far. We have started by making our prioritized list of planner sections, making sure we've got all of our planning needs mapped out. We have organized and prioritized those. We've picked our design and features and functions that we want. We have um, thought about our color scheme and the binding that we want, collected all our supplies. Uh, we have even started to build our planner and now have everything laid out in keynotes the way we want it. And now it's time to do the final step, which is hyperlinking. Hyperlinking your planner is all about navigating your planner with ease. So in my planner that I created to use in 2022, I can easily click the calendar link to get to all of my annual pages like routines, or if I want to click over to May, I can click there. I can get to the yearly section and get to my future log. This navigation is all happening because I built links into the planner in Keynotes, and that's what we're going to do today. So let's flip back over to Keynotes where we have our planner that we built. Now I built what I'm going to go ahead and call is an ugly planner, <laughs> but it's a very simple planner just to demonstrate and illustrate, you know, the functions and how you put it together using master slides, using copy and paste, using duplication, pulling in photos and images, um, picking your colors, all of that stuff. I know that you guys have built a planner that is far more beautiful than this. And I know it's one that is completely customized to you, which is the purpose of all of this, right? We've got it in the right size, which was really key step in our our process that we covered in the second video in this series. Not an easy task, but you guys stuck with it. And now we have the perfect planner size built in that's fully customized to us. So today we are going to be focusing on linking our planner. So I'm actually going to go back to the master slides and I'm going to start with my master slide, which is really the background for almost every slide that I have. I have these tabs over here and I want to make sure these tabs are linked. So when I click on January tab, I actually go to the January calendar. This is why you kept that master list of numbered slides in your uh, off to the side as you were building out. You know, you may have, I have three here. You may have hundreds built out here. Um, so you want to make sure you have that master slide list. And so the first thing I'm going to do to add a link to January, I know that the January calendar for me begins on the third slide. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add a shape. And I'm going to pull it over here and I'm going to put it on top of January. Don't worry about the color. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to fit that right on top of January. And now I'm going to come over here to the style and I'm going to turn the opacity down to zero, which is why it doesn't matter what color it is because I'm making it invisible. It has no border. Um, it's invisible. Now that I have that shape invisible and placed over January, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to hit link. Now this gives me an option. Do I want to link? What do I want to link to? I'm going to link to a slide and I'm actually going to pick the slide. So for me, the slide is number three. Now I have that set up. I would go through and add those links to all these sections. Okay. That's to my master slide. So I'm done with that one. And you would want to link in all of your tabs on your master slide, anything on your master slide that needs to be linked. You would want to add that. Once I get that done, now I can see just kind of invisible back in the background. There's a link there um, so that any of the pages that has this tab on it are going to include that link. And now I'm going to come over here to my January page and I know that my goals are located on the fourth page. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add in a link again, turning the opacity down to zero and I'm going to put a link right over goals 
and I'm going to link that to the fourth slide. So now I have a link there and when I come over to the goals page I'm going to want to link back. Now remember I used a master slide for this goals page so let me go to edit the slide layout. I already have on my master slide that link back to January. I'm going to copy that and add that right here. So now I've got that link there. All right, that's how easy it is to add links, but I will tell you this takes some time, especially when you have a, a planner that is hundreds of pages long. You're going to have to go through and add in all the links. And what you want to be thinking about is how are you going to want to navigate? So let's say I'm on my gratitude page. Where would I want to go from my gratitude page? Well, I've got a link over here back to the monthly calendar, so that would get me back to here. From here, where might I want to go? Maybe I want to link to the notes section or a specific thing in the notes section. Maybe I want to add some links over here to the weekly pages uh, in January, or maybe I want each of the days of the month to be linked to a notes page specific for that day or a daily page setup. So you really want to be thinking about how you're going to navigate through your planner. And the best way to do this is just to go section by section, keeping in mind you've got that master list that tells you where everything is located, so you can easily reference that as you're picking which slide numbers to link to. If you are needing to add the same length over and over again, then you probably want to go back and add a master slide for that. If you're having to copy and paste the same link over and over again, put it in the master slides. That way it shows up on every one of those pages anyway. If you need to change the master slide of a page, you can always come over here, click on the, on the actual slide itself, and then when you go to uh, the paintbrush, it, it gives you the option to change what master slide layout you're using. Links will auto update. If I was to add in a planner, a new slide page here, all the links that I have for pages below it would auto update. So if you do end up finding yourself needing to add in a page, you don't worry. You don't have to go update all of those subordinate links. They will all auto populate and update as you add new slides in. All right. So I'm only adding just a couple for illustrative purposes. I know that you all probably are going to spend a great amount of time adding in all your links and, and making sure that everything is linked to the right places. That does take some time. Grab a hot beverage and a good Netflix binge session and just do your linking right there while you're kind of multitasking and doing something else uh, because it does take time. Once you get all that done, now it's time to export and start using this baby. So I'm going to come over here to the three dots and I'm going to export it. And I'm going to export it as a PDF. Export. And there's a couple of different options here. One of the things I like, this planner is very small that I've built, so I'm not really worried about the size of this planner. But if you have built a planner that is hundreds and hundreds of pages and you're worried about size because large files and not enough si file space can cause lag and slow issues in GoodNotes. Um, there is a great tool to help you here. If you're worried about size and you want to work to get that planner a little bit smaller, export it to your files, save to your files, and then you're going to go to this great site called small PDF and I'll show you what that looks like here. So it's small PDF. This is a free site that allows you to upload a PDF and compress that PDF file to make it smaller. Now there is a paid option that you can shrink it down even further. I haven't ever found the need to use that, but I have a lot of space on um, my iPad right now. So I don't really need to use that. I may sometime in the future. I always stick with the free option, which condenses things down great for me. So definitely keep this in mind if you are worried about space and need to shrink down the size of your PDF. If you're not worried about that, then you're going to go straight to Open in GoodNotes. And you're going to import it as a new document, Import to Documents, and now here's your planner and you can test out. We added links to January. So if I click the January link, 
boom, I should get to the January page. If I click on from the goals page to January, I should get there. So everything seems to be working. Uh, click on goals and it takes me to the goals page. So this is where you would test out and find, spend some time testing out your links and um, going to different sections of your planner. If you see things that need to be changed, then you can flip right back to Keynotes and make those changes. Export it again, shrink it down again, import it into GoodNotes again. That is really all that is required to make yourself the planner digital planner that is fully customized to to what you need. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed these series of videos. I hope you got value out of it. I would love to hear all your comments and questions down below. Um, I would love to hear your ideas. What am I doing that made you cringe and want to scream at me through the, the, uh, the computer screen? You know, are there things that I could have done better or differently? I would love to know because I'm going to keep building digital planners. I actually really enjoy it and I enjoy using digital planners. So I would love to have ideas of how I can make a better digital planner. Leave those all down in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Plan and Annie for more content like this. As always, thanks for planning with me.